everyone welcome to this video in this video let's see how to solve the problems on kvl by applying kirchhoff voltage law to this circuit let us find out the for three mesh we will be getting equation 1 and equation 2 and equation 3 by solving these three simultaneous equations we are going to get the current i1 and current i2 and current i3 how we are going to find these three currents by using three simultaneous equations we can use any mathematical method which is uh, going to give i1 i2 i3 or we can use a scientific calculator in the scientific calculator solve these equations and we can obtain what is i1 i2 and i3 let us see that in the scientific calculator if you click on mode thrice you will get equation to select that equation press 1 so it is asking for how many unknowns are there in our expression we will be having three unknowns so select three here now it is asking for to enter the coefficient values in the first expression i1 coefficient is minus 8 so i am entering minus 8 then click on equals it is asking for b1 b1 in the sense second value coefficient that is plus 4 click on 4 and then c1 c1 is i3 i3 coefficient is 0 there is no i3 in first expression then it, are, it is asking for d1 d1 is the constant minus 10 here so the first equation coefficients are over we need to enter the second equation coefficients that is plus 4 and then minus 8 and c2 is 2 and the constant is 0 in the second expression in the third expression we will be having we will be not having any i1 so i1 coefficient is 0 i2 will be having 2 with i2 and then i3 will be having minus 6 and the constant is minus 20 so if we give these values it will be directly giving the value of x y and z what is x y and z here this x is i1 and y is the value of i2 and z is the value of i3 so after solving these three equations we are going to get i1 as 2.3437 and i2 as 2.1875 amps and i3 as 4.0625 amps thank you